in, everybody, to another episode of the Brett Allen Show, a pop culture podcast and now video cast where we interview your favorite actors from film and television, music, comedy, and more. And today we have the super talented Peyton Perrine, and he can be seen uh, currently on the Netflix streamer Colin in Black and White and the Nick TV's series That Girl Lele. Both amazing projects, and I'm excited to talk to Peyton. Peyton, welcome into the show. It's great to have you. Thank you for having me. Yes, well, you are a very busy individual. How do you have time to do everything? Because you have, it seems like, a lot of projects coming out. Um, yeah, so basically every single time when we start filming, I would just, when we get to set, I would just do my homework and stuff, go over my lines and stuff. Then we do it. It's actually once you learn how to balance it, it gets easier than if you're just new to this and just come right into it. But it takes a little bit of time to get balanced and used to being known more and having people like know you and balancing everything. It, it's not that hard once you get used to it. <laughs> you have a lot of responsibility for sure. So clearly you have people, a team, whatever it takes to help you get things moving along right to make sure that you're doing your schoolwork and things like that for sure yes yeah that's funny so i imagine are you doing a lot of schoolwork while you're on set filming as well or do you kind of do all of that separately um we actually we've been done filming for like i think it's been like a few months now okay but right now i'm in normal school just hanging out with my friends in school getting that work done and yeah, I've, I've been, I've kept auditioning for different stuff, but eh, so far it's been really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, let's start out with your series on Nick TV, That Girl Lele. Uh, this is a fun show and definitely one for the entire family. Uh, let's talk about it. If people have not seen it, what can people expect in your involvement and in, in the project itself? Um, they'll definitely expect a lot of laughs and a lot of funny moments, but they, they should also expect lessons that come out of the show. There's like a bunch of little lessons that we put in there. Um, but honestly, I just hope they really enjoy the show and that they learn a lot from it. Yes. Now tell us about your character and how that character is involved, uh, in the entire storyline when people get a chance to watch it. Um, yeah, so my character, he's Marky. He's Sadie's younger brother. He's a businessman, and he, he just really, really, really likes money. And he goes on all these crazy adventures with the family, mostly Jeremy and Bryce, as you'll see soon. But he he really likes to make money. He loves to do the experiences, but that money itself, so what he wants. Yeah, I love it. So when you are working on projects like this, what is your process to find your way into the characters and how do you create the stories uh, that people see uh, from the character that you're portraying on either one of these shows uh, that you're a part of? One, so like if I'm auditioning for a new character, I would look at the um, like the character's what what the character is about and who the character is so I can build off of that using my imagination how to like make the character the best you could possibly be or working it to be better so that's kind of what I do I one I read the lines a lot I go over the lines I go over my actions and see how I can make this funny or I can make this more serious or um, just make it better overall so yeah definitely you should read over the character plot and just work on the actions and the lines, which would make it better. I find all of this fascinating. So what was it that interested you in acting, Peyton? What was it that made you go, this is something that, that I want to do and pursue as a, as a career? Um, one, I, so my mom, she was the original actor. She taught me a lot. Um, but she, her, one of my mom's friends her kids were on this show called Bet on Your Baby. It was like for when I was like really little. And then her friend asked me if I wanted to join it. And then I was like, yeah, sure. So I did the I did the um, game show. And then after I did that, I was like, this is cool. Maybe I want to start doing other stuff. So I started doing commercials. My mom would help me with like the lines and stuff. And after that, I would I started to do TV acting. She actually asked me if 
I wanted to start doing TV acting out of the blue. And I was like, okay, let's try it. So I've been doing a lot of um, auditions for different shows. And I came across this one. I was like, I really, really like it. And kind of that's how I got here. Yeah, that's very fascinating. You've accomplished quite a bit uh, for your age, which is huge. And I think it's very inspiring to other young people who either want to maybe pursue acting or some other form of creative arts and things like that. When you're not acting or you're not auditioning, what fills your time, Peyton? What do you enjoy doing as a hobby or what what kind of things do you like to see yourself involved in uh, when you have a chance to take a break from either school or, or acting in these shows? <laughs> um, so one, what I love to do, I'm a big gamer. I love to play video games. I also, I like to watch TV, YouTube. I love to play basketball, hang out with my family at the park. I like, I love playing on the swings. Um, I like doing a lot of stuff. I like bike riding, I like hiking. I like eating. <laughs> I like, I also like, I like watching movies a lot. And that's kind of what got me inspired into doing this. What are some of your favorites that you like to watch that inspire you? Um, one movie that I actually recently watched, like when I say recently, like two days ago, like on Sunday, um, I watched Shang-Chi with the family at the movie theater. I was like, wow, I like this movie. This is a really good movie. And also I watched The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and that kind of sparked what I wanted to start acting. I was like, wow, this, this looks awesome. I want to try this. And yeah, so those are some of my favorites. I also like the show that I'm on. And oh, I think, uh, oh, I love Star Wars. Uh, and I think that's it. I think that's it. That's fantastic. And of course, spending time with your family sounds like that's something that's a huge thing, which is great, which you have that support, obviously, uh, because your family has been in the business. One last question, Peyton, as we wrap up our conversation here. I'm very curious you know, in this time that you've had a career as an actor and been a public figure, so to speak, and you've had a lot of experiences, has there ever been any advice that you've been given or that you have received from other actors or other people in your life that you hold close to you as important and has sustained you in this career that you've been a part of so far? Um. Yeah, so my mom, uh, so when I first started acting, she was like, just don't give up because this 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 industry it can be really really hard at times and she taught me just to not give up and to go after your dreams what you love to do not just what you get like if you pay get paid a lot of money but you don't like to do something then you shouldn't do it but that's kind of what happened with me I really I really really like acting and I went after it and it's just it happened like it clicked with me. So I was like, yeah. But also when I booked the job, we were, um, uh, so though this was when we were doing the, I think it was the mix up for like the different people that would be the different characters that we wanted to see. So after that, David was like, I was like, thank you everybody. I was thanking everybody. And David was like, we did not give you this. You worked hard and earned this. And when I went, so after that, I felt just, I felt like I accomplished something great and that I worked hard. And when you work hard, you, you probably get what you desire and you will get what you desire, which I'm, I'm really happy about. And that just stuck with me forever. That's a great piece of advice, Peyton, for anybody listening to today's episode is that hard work is what wins the room at the end of the day. Right. I mean, there are chances and opportunities that we are given, obviously, probably maybe more than others. But it's because of the hard work that you've accomplished and all of the time and effort that you've put in studying, practicing, and auditioning pays off. And there couldn't be better advice given to anybody as an actor. You know what I mean? And that's fantastic. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, we have been chatting with Peyton Perrine. He is a super talented actor. He can be seen in Nick TV's that Girl Lele coming out soon and Netflix is calling in black and white. And That's- there's also a new Apple TV show that I'm going to be guest starring in. It's Uh-oh. called Check It Out, everybody. What's it called? Puppy Love. I think it's it's going to be out on October 15th, which is in a few days. So there you go. Three big projects 
for Peyton. Peyton, thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.